we want to thank the Migration Policy Institute for this great honor, and we're truly humbled to be able to share this stage with so many great leaders here tonight. Um, and thank you for the work that you do, because of all the amazing work you do done over the years, it's the reason why James and I are here today, um, and the reason why many people in our community are here today to be able to contribute to this great country. Um, you know, a great basketball coach once said that to be, um, to win, you have to start thinking about the source of your motivation. And James and I share a very similar story. In 2000 and, uh, 1993, actually, we both found our motivations. And that was the moment when our families left Vietnam to America for a new future. And the, to us, there's nothing more that is motivational to win than the hope and hunger that you feel as a young immigrant in a new world. And over the years, it has been the driving force behind some of the most important milestones in our lives. Now, imagine a community where everyone has this unyielding fire inside them. And imagine what that community can do together. And that was the reason why in 2010, um, James and I came together to find One Vietnam Network to harness that fire in the Vietnamese diaspora community. And with the help of the Ford Foundation, uh, we set out to build a world-class online network to connect and empower the Vietnamese diaspora to take collective action to help build our homeland. Um, using the best of social media on One Vietnam, you can, um, expats can connect organize and collaborate to meet the greatest needs at home. Uh, you can find, fund, and follow projects from anywhere in the world that is shaping your hometown today. Uh, just to give you some examples, we, uh, in 2010, a major typhoon hit the, south, the central coast of Vietnam. Within a matter of three days, we had 50 expats across 10 countries come together to provide immediate relief to 300 families in those regions in Vietnam. And just last year, to shed light on the challenges of living with disabilities inside Vietnam, we gave an iPod touch to a dozen people in Vietnam to capture and share their stories in pictures and videos. And within three months, their stories were heard all across the world. 30,000 people saw them and follow their stories on a daily basis and learned the daily challenges of people with disabilities inside Vietnam. And these are just two small examples of what a thriving, connected, diaspora community can do with enough fire and with the right tool. Um, so today at One Vietnam, our vision is to really bring this tool to other diaspora communities so that they too can take collective action to build their homeland. Um, we imagine a one Bangladesh, a one Mexico, a one Ghana, and many more where people are working together to help build their homeland. And you know, we really believe that these networks together are going to transform the landscape of global development as we know it today, and more specifically, diaspora philanthropy. Um, you know, for the first time, we can really capture the fire in each of these diaspora communities to come together to fight poverty, to fight slavery, diseases all around the world. Um, and thank you so much for this honor. And But last but not least, I'd like to thank um, our third musketeer of our very small team, um, Paul Pham that's sitting over there, is really the, the person that has brought all the engineering magic to make One Vietnam come to life. So thank you very much. <laughs>